Now that we have mastered the difference between position and displacement, let's take it a step further. You guys have all heard of something called speed, but do you know that the physics letter for speed is V? Which seems weird, but maybe you've also heard of velocity, and maybe you're not surprised that velocity has the letter V. Velocity and speed are kind of similar, so they're both V, but with the little arrow, the vector sign, we know that V with the arrow means velocity. Okay. So velocity is V with the arrow and speed is V without the arrow. But I don't want you to think that speed and velocity are basically the same. They are different. What's the main difference? The difference is how you calculate them. The speed is the distance over the time. That's how you calculate speed. I hope you know that. No big deal. The velocity is not the distance over the time. The velocity is the displacement divided by the time. So that's the main, most important difference. Velocity is calculated using displacement and speed is calculated using distance. And from the last video you know that distance and displacement aren't the same, so neither are speed and velocity. Students often say velocity has a direction and speed doesn't, and that's true, but that's just not the main difference. Okay? Let me show you an example that will hopefully show you what I mean. A car goes 100 meters east in 20 seconds. What is the car's speed and what is the car's velocity? To find its speed, I'm going to write down the givens. 100 meters is how far it went, that's the distance. And 20 seconds is how long it took, that's the time. The formula, of course, is that speed is distance over time, which means that 100 meters divided by 20 seconds is equal to 5 meters per second. So that's the speed of the car. Notice how I put the units in and the answer, the units for the answer are just whatever the math says they have to be. Speed is measured in meters per second, meters divided by seconds. What about the velocity? Same thing. The displacement, because for dis to calculate velocity, we need the displacement. The displacement was not 100 meters, it was 100 meters east. We can edit that out, right? 100 meters east. The time is, of course, still 20 seconds. The velocity is displacement over the time which is 100 meters east. Put everything in there, the units and the direction, divided by 20 seconds. So the velocity is, in this case, going to be 5 meters per second east. So you can see that they are sometimes similar, but they are not always the same. To show you that, let's do another little example. Let's say the same car then traveled 60 meters west in 12 seconds. Let's say the same car then turned and traveled west and it went 60 meters in the next 12 seconds. Then what would the speed be? Well now it's gone a distance a distance 1 of 100 meters and a distance 2 of 60 meters. So now its speed is the total distance. The speed is distance over time. That's going to be 160 meters. How long did it take to do that? It took it 20 seconds plus 12 seconds, 32 seconds. So now its speed is going to be whatever 160 divided by 32 is. I should have thought this one through. It's okay. I have my calculator. 160 divided by 32. <laughs> Silly Mr. Morin, he picked the numbers. He knew the answer was 5. This car went at the same speed. The speed is still 5. It went another 60 meters in 12 seconds. No problem. But what about the velocity? The velocity is going to be the displacement over the time. Just like the last video, what's the displacement now? It's 100 meters east plus 60 meters west divided by 32 seconds. So it's 40 meters divided by 32. 1.5, 40, 32 goes into once, leaves 8. 40 divided by 8 is 0.5. 1.5 meters per second 
100 east plus 60 west gives us 100 east. I did that in my head. If you don't know how to do that, go back to the last video on position and displacement. 1.5 meters per second east. So, can you see what I mean? They are not the same. It's true. Velocity has a direction. Speed does not. That is a true fact. But the difference is more than that. You use displacement to find velocity. You use distance to find speed. And I hope one more thing you can sort of see from this. In this first case, it was going in a straight line. It was going at a presumably constant speed of 5 meters per second. So the velocity was also 5 meters per second east. But if it went east and then stopped, turned around and sped up and went west, it must have been changing its velocity and speed. There was multiple types of motion happening here. Different things were happening. If we use this formula, it's still good, but now it's not going to tell us the velocity. It's going to tell us the average velocity. This is not going to give us the speed that it was at every second, but it will tell us the average speed. So the formula is the same, but technically we have calculated the averages.